Hello, fellow wanderer. I'm Andri, and thank you for joining me as we wander through more of Final Fantasy Dawn of Souls. In this case, we're going to be looking at Final Fantasy II, which is of the mainline series games, not including the sequels like X2 or uh, Final Fantasy XIII-2 or XIII-3, uh, is the only Final Fantasy game I've never actually completed. I have run through a bit of the game so far. I would say I'm about three quarters of the way through it. But I decided, you know what, I will save the ending as a surprise so you could all see my general reaction to the ending of the game. That being said, let's start a new game. And here we have a chance to assign names. I'm going to leave them as they are canon because they do actually give you canon names in this one. So we're going to run with these. A Long Live Peace. Is at an end. Those don't look like friendly guys, do they? The Emperor of Palamecia has called forth monsters from the underworld and has begun his campaign for world conquest. A rebel army arose in the Kingdom of Finn to thwart the Emperor's plans. But the rebel's castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. Left with little choice, the rebels withdrew to the remote town of Altair. Four youths from Finn also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire. But their escape wasn't over. Black Knights? Ambushed? 976 damage? Uh, game? G game? I, uh, run? Run? Oh, uh, well. Yeah, it's a forced battle. I'm not going to string you along if it was the end of the game. <laughs> I'll spare you that old trope. Will he live? He will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. We found them like this on the escape from Finn, fallen from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. His life is not in danger. This sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest now. Of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to complete the Dreadnought they're building in Basque, their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. And we're good. <laughs> Where am I? Leon! Maria! Guy! Where are you? Furion, you're alive! I I thought I thought you'd I'm fine, Maria. You alright too, guy? But wait, where's Leon? Princess of Finn, save us. But Leon not here. I see. Don't worry, I'm sure he's okay. So you've regained your strength? Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. It was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, your highness, but there is something I must ask of you. Please allow us to join the rebel army. I could never allow such a thing. 
You know nothing of battle. You would only be throwing your lives away. You should return to your homes. But we have no homes. Not anymore. The Imperials attacked, and our parents... Our parents! I am truly sorry, but even so, this changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. If you have nowhere else to go, you're welcome to stay here at Altair. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. So here we have one of the first innovations of this game. There's a few. Some for the better, some significantly for the worse. So we're going to learn the Wild Rose. So anytime you see a term in red, you can learn it. Then you can ask it. Wild Rose. Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It represents our hope for a future that flourishes in both strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the Empire's captives have been taken there and suffer even as we speak. Maria, your brother Leon is missing, is he not? It's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. But Finn is far too dangerous now. The Emperor's beasts still stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. He may be of some assistance. Press the cancel button to get out of dialogue with NPCs that have the special options menu. I see your destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. You will begin by journeying to Finn. That is the first step towards realizing your fate. So this is your hint to go to Finn. Remember that, because you don't really get told to go otherwise. Let's ask about the Wild Rose. Hehe, <laughs> you wasted no time in using the password. Heed well the information it will bring you. You can learn much of value by listening. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived in a sanctuary. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. Yep, we can't reach the next nearest town. So let's explore a little bit, shall we? So there's a lot of mechanical differences between FF1 and FF2. This is your crane hall. We're ignoring them for now. There's no real reason to talk to them. Up here, we have the king's room. An arrow struck me in the back. Yeah, better than any. During the battle, leaving me in this state. Perhaps I really have grown old. My daughter Hilda now serves as regent. You should speak with her. Uh, the NPCs all just have generic dialogue. This is Hilda's room. There's nothing in the container. There's no searchable containers that I know of in the game. They'll all be chests. And we've got some villagers, things like that. But we don't really care much about them. Over here we got a chest. Our potion! Yay! First chest done. And here we have the town of Altair. And here's Paul, the greatest thief in all the world! They've yet to invent the loot I can't burgle or steal. The Imperial Coffers have kept my purse fat with gill lately. Let's talk to Wild Rose with him. They never steal from the Rebels, you can be sure of that. My home was in Finn, too. I can't even go home now that the Empire's occupied the city. And who are you? My name is Gordon. I was once the Prince of Kashuan. Now I'm nothing but a coward. When my brother Scott fell in battle, I abandoned my kingdom and fled here. So you've got to take up arms in the struggle? I'm so afraid Hilda will turn me away that I haven't even asked her. I've been stalling here. I'm just a spineless coward. Go ahead, laugh. I deserve it. Alright, so. One of the things about this game is the way that equipment works. Uh, if you're playing the NES original, probably through emulator, since I don't know any other way to play it, um, weapons and armor and shields have a negative effect on your magic power. Uh, in addition, uh, armor has a significant effect on your evasion and your magic power. And in this game, honestly, uh, less armor is better. So we're going to take that off. We're going to keep a shield on. Uh, shields are very useful. You always want a shield. In this version of the game, your weapon and shield do not affect your magic stat at all. However, the head, body, and hands do. So if you want to use magic, you'd uh, best wear light equipment. Uh, I'm gonna unequip her bow. I don't want her using a. I don't want her using a bow at all. We'll get her another weapon here in a second. And in this game, you can do front and back row. So you just go to their portrait, click it. It'll move them front or back. Uh, in this case, I want her in the front row because I'm not gonna have her using a bow. If you are playing the PSP version of the game, uh, you might want to let or the 20th anniversary edition, I guess, is what you would call it. Uh, you might want to let her continue to use her bow. She will get an ultimate weapon in a bonus dungeon. That is a bow. Uh, every character can learn how to use every weapon. Uh, as you see their status there. 
In addition, they have strength, spirit, intelligence, stamina, agility, and magic, which do exactly what you think they would do. Strength is how hard you hit. Stamina is your innate defense. Spirit is your white magic ability. Intelligence is your black magic ability. Magic is your attack multiplier with magic. Uh, it, basically, spirit and intelligence determine accuracy of magic, and magic determines power of magic. And agility is uh, how fast you move and how well you evade. Um, let's see, one other thing I wanted to show there that I didn't point out. Uh, on the left-hand side, you'll see attack. Uh, that's your uh, damage, basically. Uh, accuracy, how uh, well you can hit. Accuracy is, to, is a derived stat, I believe, from your strength. Uh, defense is derived from stamina and your armor. Evasion is a combination of the shield you are wearing, your shield skill, and your agility. And magic defense is determined by your magic stat. Uh, I think maybe your spirit and int. I'm not sure, though. Anyway, um, just some background dialogue. We're, we're interested in shops. We need to do some shopping. I want a shield for both of my party members. Uh, it is very important to equip shields. They're how you get your base evasion rating. Uh, if you two-hand a weapon, you do do more damage. Uh, however, I don't really see the point. Oh, also, uh, handedness is in the game. You can see it underneath their portraits. Uh, everyone in our main party is right-handed. Weapons! So you could use any weapon you want in the game. Uh, you could swap between them freely. You do have to basically relearn how to use the weapon. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a javelin here for Maria. Uh, and I might just swap out weapons willy-nilly, uh, just to keep everybody up on all the weapons. Uh, there is a reason to do that that we'll get into later. Uh, it involves a certain spell in the game. Uh, and here we have magic! All right. So I have a particular thing I am doing with magic. I have pre-made a list of spells that each character is going to be allowed to learn. Uh, in this case, uh, Fire, Thunder, and Blizzard will be for Maria only. She starts with your highest intellect. She will be my Black Mage. She will also be allowed to learn one white magic spell, which is Cure. Firion and Guy will both learn Cure, and Guy will be my primary white mage. He gets to learn all of the base white mage spells, the uh, self buff, uh, white magic, the uh, holy spell, uh, and the uh, status cures. And Firion will be my all-purpose sage. He will learn debuffs and black magic buffs, so he'll be mostly a black wizard, uh, but he will learn uh, slow dispel and teleport and, of course, cure. So for the moment, I want to grab a couple of cure tomes. Uh, tomes are interesting. Uh, you can learn spells from them by uh, just using them on a character. Each character can learn up to 16 spells. And you can also use them in battle uh, to uh, cast a spell, the spell that they have, uh, at a certain amount of power. I think usually level 7 or so. Uh, so I'm, gonna go ahead. I'm actually going to buy her a Cure Tome right off the bat. And that will spend most of our money. So we're going to have to use the Cure Tome here. I'm going to try to not grind much beyond this initial section. Uh, just because you don't start with enough gold to buy everything I want, I will do a little bit of grinding here. Uh, but not a whole lot. Uh, not the inn. Uh, where did I want to go? Is it the armor shop that has it? No, it's the item shop. I want to go to the item shop real quick. Here's your item shop. Uh, you get three different people that sell you stuff. Prices are cheaper in this version than the base version. So potions are 30. They restore about 50 HP. High potions restore about 200. Eye drops uh, cure darkness. Antidotes cure poison. Uh, cross removes curse. Mallet removes amnesia. Mains kiss cures toad. Gold needle cures stone. Not all status ailments last after battle. Only some of them. Uh, Phoenix Downs raise KO'd people. They're 500. Ethers are 1,000. Cottages are 2 grand. And elixirs are 50 grand. We won't be buying those for a while. Uh, is it here? 
Oh, it was not the item shop I wanted to go to. There's a particular shop I want to go to. I just don't remember which one it is. Not you. I'll find it eventually. I know it's here somewhere. Is it just a random house? Hmm. Might be. Is it this random house? No, this is a sanctuary. This is where you revive your dead. Uh, if your character is dead, they won't gain stats, and we'll talk about stat gains here in a bit. Hmm. I could swear that there was a place in Altair that you could go out the side of the building. Uh, we're going to check here in just a moment. Altair, where are you? Um, who is the item shop? Did I just not find the right square? Huh. I'm not entirely certain why. Eh. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong city. I'm probably thinking of the wrong city. Uh, ignore me being silly. That is weird, though. This is the right city, right? Hmm. I thought you could. Huh? Oh, well. Not a big deal. Anyway, enough stalling. Here we go. Let's get into a battle, and I'll show you generally... By the way, do not walk all the way to the south. Bad things will happen to you. Very, very bad things. We're going to walk around a forest, get in a battle. And uh, we find a leg eater. I'll get monster stats in a bit. I kind of want to show what I'm going to be doing during battles. Uh, spells cost their level in MP. Let's go ahead and cast Cure, even though I'm not hurt. I'm going to have everybody cast Cure for the first round. The reason I'm doing this is if you want to level up a spell, you need to cast it. If you want to level up your MP and magic, you need to use magic. If you want to raise your hit points, you need to get hit. If you want to raise evasion and agility, you need to dodge hits. Well, being attacked with a shield on is enough actually to help. All right, first round's done, so we're just gonna go all out here. And our accuracy is gonna be pretty bad to start with. But that's all right. We really don't want to end the battle with full hit points on most characters, but uh, let's see if we get some stat up. So, we don't get XP in this game, you don't gain levels. So you see, because Maria took damage, her hit points went up, and her stamina increased, which increases her overall defense. Uh, can I show that? Uh, nope. Status. Well, her defense is still zero, but she's better off, trust me. And you see they gained a little bit of weapon skill there, and they gain some cure skill. And that's pretty much how this works. So I'm going to do some battles to get some money uh, because I want to buy some things. And if I see anything interesting, I will point them out. Ah, good old goblins. So we're going to do the same thing. And this is how I basically do every battle. Everybody has to use magic every battle. Uh, even if it essentially... Uh, uses up a little bit too much uh, MP at the start, but that's how you gain MP. So it's kind of important to be doing this sort of thing. So goblins, by the way, six hit points, uh, drop nine to 75 gil, it's kind of random. No weaknesses, no strengths. We're gonna be seeing a lot of these guys. Well, I will be. The encounter rate's pretty high in this game. So much like Final Fantasy 1, I'll be cutting it out. Okay, anything good? Sword skill, shield skill, stamina, spear, shield, axe, shield. Very nice. So here's how shield works. Each shield has an evasion rating. Our bucklers, I believe, have a 2%. Your shield skill is multiplied uh, by your base evade percent, and that gets you your overall total. Uh, 
Let me try and get one more battle here. Ah, uh, another Leg Eater. Let me look up their stats real quick. Leg Eater! Six hit points. Uh, resist body, resist mind. Those are elements in this game. Uh, certain spells do body, certain spells do mind. The distinction is largely unimportant. It's usually for instant death spells or debuffs. I wouldn't worry about it too much. We're going to finish them off here real quick. Uh, one thing is, is enemies have certain levels. Uh, they have levels, not you. Um, their level determines, or their rank determines, basically how high your... Uh, Weapon skill, armor skill, and that can get from fighting them. So let's go ahead and look at our status here. Uh, note, our sword skill and shield skill did not really increase much during that battle. Uh, Marion's went up a little bit. I'm not entirely certain why hers went up and the others didn't. Uh, but what that means is if you fight low-level enemies, you stop really being able to advance your skills. So we got some money now. Let's head over to the shop of magic type. And I want to grab a fire tome, a thunder tome. And you can spread these out to everyone so everybody starts getting in bonuses. That's not how I want to play the game. I think making everybody uh, good at everything kind of cheapens the experience. Uh, cure is my exception because cure, it's just useful to have. Little leg eater battle. Yeah, see, uh, we're not gaining skill with those weapons anymore. So at this point, what I'm actually going to do... Uh, I'm going to remove everybody's weapon and just let them do some unar uh, unarmed attacks for a bit. And then I'm going to swap around the weapons a little bit. Uh, I'm going to save a little bit more money and then we're going to move. Alright, Furion and Guy gained a cure level. That's useful. It means their cure is now more expensive, though, so keep that in mind. Ah, someone got an MP increase. Uh, Furion got his first MP increase. Very nice. You get MP increases by using magic and being low on magic when you cast a spell. So keep that in mind. Okay, well, we're a little bit low on MP, so they're not going to be able to cast the spells for a bit, but I do want to finish off Maria's MP uh, before we move on to Finn, which is our next destination. Couple more fights. Ah, Hornet Battle. I wanted to show this off. Uh, her fire went up to level 2, which is excellent, so we're going to work on Thunder for a bit. Uh, Hornets have 6 HP, no weaknesses, no strengths. They're pretty vanilla. You see, Unarmed scales really well at the start of the game. Uh, but I think that's all they can... Yeah, they're not going to get any more skill. So let's go ahead, and since you don't know how to use a javelin yet, we'll give you a javelin. We will give you a broadsword. We will give you an axe. It's a good reason to keep a variety of weapons on hand. Uh, Maria, what are you down to? You've got one more. We'll do one more battle, and then we will move on towards Finn. And every 10 battles, you do get an HP increase. It's part of this game. It's not part of the NES version, so keep that in mind. I do want to buy the last of my spells, and I'm actually going to buy the remaining weapon types in the game. Knife and Staff. If you are being a spellcaster in the NES version, uh, make sure that you use a knife or a staff. They have the lowest penalty to spirit and intelligence. Uh, and I want to give you... We'll start with the knife. All right, and we go over to the magic shop. I should have enough by now. Yep, we want to grab Blizzard. So Maria gets a Blizzard tome. Uh, if you get extra tomes, feel free to keep them. Uh, they are useful in battle, like I said. Uh, also, keep in mind that you could change your equipment in mid-battle. You uh, don't have to keep on the equipment you start the battle with in case you need a special piece of equipment. And one last thing to go over before we leave. Uh, inns cost an amount of money equal to the amount of HP and MP they're going to restore. So, as I've used all my MP, uh, kind of expensive. Uh, 
kind, kind of expensive, but that's all right. So, uh, one thing to keep in mind about Final Fantasy II, the world map is pretty open to you at the start of the game. You can get almost anywhere without the canoe even. Uh, that being said, monsters scale by area. Ah. So Fergan Sword is already... The skills at low level increase very quickly, so uh, don't be afraid to just swap around the weapons as you need them. Uh, so if you're done with Spear, let's give you Axe. Uh, we'll give you Staff. All right. So we need to head up to Finn, which is north of us. The biggest problem I tend to run into in the early game is that enemies don't live long enough. So here we have Gatria. Uh, there's an inn here if you need it. Another item shop if you need it. Sells the same old stuff. Uh, Empire's right across the border. There's your sanctuary. Arm shop. Anything good? Nap. We've already got the bucklers. We don't want the armor. What weapons? Anything good in the weapon shop? Uh, nope. We've got pretty much everything here. We don't need an extra axe. And if memory serves, there's no magic shop in this town. So, we need to get to Castle. Alright. Fury got another MP up. He is getting a lot of MP. Which is good, though I'd rather Marion was getting some more MP. Uh, in the last battle, Guy got poisoned. Note, he is not currently poisoned. There are two different levels of poison in the... Eh, Guy got an MP increase. Very nice. I do cut a poison. One is in battle, one is out of battle. Eh, Guy got another MP increase, really? Huh. Poor Maria. She's falling behind. Hey, Fearing got an axe level. Very nice. Uh, where does that put you... Uh, it means I need to give you daggers and staves. Uh, however, I'm not quite ready to give you daggers and staves, but that's alright. So if we walk around this lake, we get to Finn. It's our hometown that we got run out of. Ah, Maria got her staff level. Nice. So, uh... Let's remove that. We'll have you equip a staff. Have you equip an axe. And one thing to keep in mind, you are going to level up your weapon skills way faster than you're going to find new ranks of enemies. Uh, so keep that in mind. Here we are. This is Finn. Do not talk to the soldiers. It's just as we've heard. The city is crawling with Imperial soldiers. We have to be careful. Make sure not to get too close. Uh, just don't talk to them. Uh, there are, by the way, random encounters here in the city. Let's see if I can show that off real quick. Hey, guy got a knife level. Awesome. I'll just give you a javelin. That'll be good for now. Maria's not getting MP, which makes me a little sad. So we come in here. Oh, this is Paul's house. We'll be back here later. We need to go actually around the outside of the town. All right, uh, can't go that way. No reason to go in the item shops. It doesn't do you any good. Oh, and I think we go this way. There's a pub over here. Oh, we got lots of bonuses from that one. Uh, let's see here. So you need a knife and a bow, and I might as well give you a bow because it's not like it matters. You need... Knife and bow. Okay. And you need sword, staff, and bow. Oh, your javelin finished, right? Yeah. So, take that. Take that. Bows are two-handed, keep that in mind. And if we look at his, uh... Oops. If we look at 
his evasion. 10%, yeah. He's not going to be dodging much. So let's go back here and talk to this guy. Whoa, where do you think you're going? Customers aren't allowed behind the counter. These Imperials are as ill-bred as they come. Aha, you're with the Rebels. You'll find a secret door in this wall. There's a wounded soldier back there. Go see if you can help him. Huh? What am I going to do? I've had it with this place. You guys can take it from here. Don't let us down. Thanks, buddy. And we head down here. And we loot the place. Potions! Are you going to turn me over to the Empire? At least have the DC to kill me first. I don't want them to take me alive. So, you're rebel soldiers, are you? My name is Scott. I am a Prince of Cashwood. Prince Scott, we were told you fell in the battle. Thank goodness you're still alive. I am, but not... Not for much longer. I'm afraid I must ask a favor of you. There's something you must must tell my brother Gordon. Tell him I know he has great strength. He must learn to have more faith in, in himself. I also have a message for the king. Tell him the reason Finn, Finn fell so quickly is that Count Borgen betrayed us. He's made a, a general of the Imperial Army. There's one more thing. Tell Hilda, tell Hilda that I love her. No. No, don't deliver that last message. The confessions of a dying man, they would only bring her pain. My my brother Leon, have you heard of him? I'm sorry, but I have not. I wish I could be of more help. Here, I want you to, to take my ring. I'm sure it will be of use. Maybe it's all this talking, but... I've grown extremely tired. If you'll excuse me, I, I just need to rest, just for a little while. And here we have the first of many, many deaths. This game was not shy about killing off people. All right, but we're done here. You obtained Scott's ring, dot, dot, dot. So let's get out of this town and get back to Galtia. So I'm all out of MP. And actually, for the moment, go to the back while you're using a bow. I don't generally use bows. I like the evasion the shields give, but uh, just for the sake of keeping everybody's skills. Goblins are so sad. So very sad. So we're just going to walk back to Galtia. Hey, Bria got a knife level. So what does that leave you to learn? Just bow, which you're not going to learn for a bit. That's all right. You do slowly learn other skills, uh, even if you are above the skill rank. It's just very, very slow. Uh, I think you need to learn staff. Yep, staff and bow. Uh, one thing to keep in mind in the NES version, if you have a status ailment on you at the end of the battle, you don't get stat-ups. Keep that in mind. In this one, it doesn't matter, I don't believe. 61 gil? That's highway robbery. Well, we're fine, actually. They give you a good bit of gil in the battles. And I think we'll go for a little bit of length. I don't know how long this one will turn out, since there was a lot of cutscene and stuff, but... Uh, I'll run it for a little bit longer, at least until we get back to uh, Altair. Let's see what's going on. Hey, Maria got her MP increase. Excellent. And you have maxed out bow. So I'm going to put you back on your standard default weapon there. We're going to put you on bow. Yep. I'm actually curious about something. Oh, you were getting some extra knife skill, but uh, we're not going to worry about it too much. I wish we'll put you in the back row, put you in the front row. How are we doing? You've still got a little bit to go on staff. 
And I got to cure three. I'm not going to level cure above three at this point in the game, at least. Uh, you've maxed out staff, so you need a bow. That being said, I don't think Maria's gotten any bow skill yet. She has not. Uh, we're, for some reason, we're starting to gain skills again, but uh, we'll worry about that in a bit. Let's check in. As per usual, let's use the inn. Uh, the more MP you use in a single battle, the more likely you are to get a, a MP increase. Uh, the problem is, is things just don't live long enough to use a lot of MP, even if you're only single targeting spells. So get kind of used to that in this early part of the game. You just kind of get the stat ups as they come along. Well, let's go over here. Hey, Gordon. I got something to show you. That ring. It was my brother's. He really said all those things about me? And, and that's it. So let's go talk to Hilda. Our password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. I, I know Wild Rose, but uh, you might want to see this. That ring belonged to Scott. Is he... Is he alive? He gave us this ring in Finn just before he lost the last of his strength. Did he... Did he say anything? No. Nothing. Your Highness, please. The ring belongs with you. No, keep it. It suits men of courage. You infiltrated Finn and returned to tell the tale. You've proven yourselves quite capable. It would seem I underestimated your strength. I would have you lend that strength to our cause. There's a magical metal known as Mithril, and we need strong words if we are to obtain it. Oops, let's learn Mithril. Ask Mithril. We lost Finn because we were ill-equipped. The Empire fought with weapons and armor made of Mithril. I have charged Joseph, a man living in Salaman, with the task of finding the source of Mithril. I do not know the cause, but we've been out of contact with him for some time now. Would you go with Minwal to Salaman to look into this? So if we talk to Minwu here, he'll join us. I heard my lady's words and have waited here for you since. To reach Salaman, we must first pass through the port town of Paloom. Take my canoe and let us be on our way. Minwu joins the party! So this is the other thing about this game that you're going to notice. A rotating fourth party member. And we get the canoe really early in this game. It's also significantly less useful. I find the world map of this game significantly less interesting. So Minwoo here starts with lots of power. And uh, to be honest, we're going to do something really weird with Minwoo uh, that some of you will find kind of strange. Minwoo is going to be leaving the party. I don't particularly want Minwoo taking kills and doing things that I would much rather my own party members were doing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy two bucklers. What am I going to do with the two bucklers? Minwoo! Dual wield bucklers. He won't be able to attack, but his shield ready will go up really fast. Let's see, we're fully healed and rested. We'll go ahead and save. And this is a Game Boy title. You can save pretty much anywhere, as far as I know. Uh, but with that, we're going to call us apart. So, tell our paths cross again. Have fun and stay safe, everyone. <laughs>